from LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica. This is Mornings LA Late. It's a big morning of Mornings LA with incredible details about your fourth seamless check update of 2021 today. In this recording, we'll go over your monthly seamless check and where they, why they may actually be more checks than we initially thought. Then we turn to the exciting details of the two-path process, and suddenly you may realize that there may be other checks for you in this week on than we initially thought. OMG. Later in this video, we go over something shocking that you're only gonna see on this channel anywhere else about four stimulus and how they're calling the vote. You are gonna be shocked and you're going to say, aha, I see it as well. Then we turn to fist stimulus, which heats up this fall with another stimulus check and raising your benefits up a lifetime. And then we turn to the thousands of dollars of viewers continue to get, like Nisi, who got $22,000 this week, Art, who got three buy items across the board. It's a big morning. It's a big day. I'm excited for you. You made it almost the weekend. Let's get to it. And this is Mornings LA. Right. <laughs> June gloom is gone. And heat wave July is here. No, I just hope it's not that bad. Usually LA is not that hot in July. It's it's late August. There's usually or almost September are usually the worst weeks of the year. So keep my finger crossed. Don't jinx it, LA. Uh hope the weather is good where you are. Jump in the live chat and tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather. Boy, you got a big broadcast today. I mean, this is gonna be a massive broadcast. You're gonna see stuff in this video you've never seen before, and you're just gonna say, OMG, we're going to go over that four stimulus check first, how many checks, when, how much the checks are, and why there may actually be more checks than initially thought, stimulus checks. Then the second part of this video will go over the incredible details about the two-path process, recon and bipartisan, and why the recon may actually have other money in there for you that we never saw before. Wow. Then in the third part of this video, you're going to see a big shocker as I reveal something that I have uncovered about how they call the vote, because remember, how they call the vote is more important than when they call the vote. And later in this video, we'll go over fist stimulus, which raises your benefits up a lifetime and gives you another stimulus check for next year. And then we go over the big money the viewers continue to get, like Nisi, who got $22,000. And this is LA, America's only 24 hour a day, seven days a week financial news channel in America, live in the morning, like right now, and then taped in the afternoons. I'm next back with you with, over, with Mornings Crypto at 9.30, which may be about 9.45 now. And then we go into noontime LA at 11 a.m., all live here from Santa Monica. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers a YouTube record. I want you part of this channel. 400,000 subscribers in one year. Next stop, 1 million. Also, like this video. Every time you like this video, it delivers you a side of parsley. It also helps in the algorithm rankings. And consider becoming a member. The link's at the top of the chat in the pinned comment. Let's get right into that monthly stimulus check with the breaking news about even that as well. It's going to be a big morning with a lot of news across the board. And I got to tell you, this whole weekend, there's going to be breaking news everywhere. And I will be here all weekend long. So stay with me. So House Bill, Pandemic Plus One Year. That is a monthly stimulus check bill from those House Democrats. Let's compare that to the Senate, which pays a proposal of July to December. Let's go out over the payouts. Here you go. House, $1,000 a month after the first month, $2,000. Senate payout, well, unknown monthly, but word on the street is it's this. Wow. Now that's deliciousness. $2,000 over six months, $12,000 a person. Or $1,400 over six months, $8,400 a person. Deliciousness. Now, if you're on the live chat just after 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, get ready to vote House or Senate and tell me where you're tuning in from. But first, there's this. Pandemic plus one year, no less than three days ago, we were saying on this channel, legislators may contend the pandemic is over, which would reduce you to just 12 checks, which would amount to $13,000 from those House Democrats. But now, breaking news just left and right. Number one, the WHO has recommended new guidelines as the upsurge of the variant Delta is ravaging Europe. Number two, LA County, upon that news, changed mass guidelines 48 hours ago, saying that 
vaccinated people should even wear masks indoors because of the Delta variant. Number three, Warren Buffett, the Oracle of Omaha, head of Berkshire Hathaway, the economist of all economists, said the pandemic ain't over. Well, if the pandemic ain't over, then the House bill may be providing you a lot more checks and may ultimately give you pandemic plus one year, which is a lot more than $13,000. Compare that to this. I think you have an opinion. <laughs> I think you have an opinion. And your opinion may be different today than it was earlier this week. Vote House of Senate. Jump in the live chat right now. Vote House is telling it. Tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather. Wow. Things are changing by the minute on this channel. Who gives a fourth stimulus check? You do. The Democrats want everyone who got a third stimulus check to get a fourth stimulus check. Single individual, 75000 or less. Democrats want you to have a fourth stimulus check. Married couple, 150000 or less. Democrats want you to have a forced stimulus check. Double it. Family of four, Democrats want you to have a forced stimulus check. Quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, Democrats want you to have a stimulus check. SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits. And there you go. The monthly stimulus check is not income, so it ain't taxable. The forced stimulus check is not a... Um, it would be the same amount of check for everyone. And the forced stimulus check would come monthly. It would not come in a wave because it's not a waveable check. So if you're at the surf shop this afternoon checking out new bodysuits, and there's that check trying to put on a bodysuit with his check going into the bodysuit, don't try to wave at the check. Hey, check, how's it going? I tell a bunga, my friend. I see you trying on a new bodysuit. What's going on? Not waving. A little too tight? <laughs> It's just not a waveable check. Yeah, the bodysuit may be tight, but it's just not a waveable check. And don't think it's a rude check. You're so rude. I hope you wipe out. It's just not a waveable check. And probably can't surf either. <laughs> so there you go. The fourth stimulus check will be coming for those Democrats in the month of July, for the month of July. They probably can't surf either. <laughs> and in the month of August, for the month of August. And they still represent the final vote will be by July 4th, but more about that later in this video. And there you go. That is your first of three updates, but boy, this is a big recording. This is a monster recording. In the second part of this video, we'll be going over the two-path process and why this was plotted out beautifully over the last two weeks. You're going to see how this was plotted out. But in the third part of this video, we'll be going over the surprise of why how they call the vote is more critical than when they call the vote. And a surprise revelation, which you're only going to see on this channel about how they call the vote, you're going to be shocked and you're going to go, uh-huh, I see the same exact thing that you see, Ally. That's coming up, that big shocker later in this video. But at first, let's get a preview of the second half of this video. It's fifth stimulus and raises up your benefits lifetime, gives you a new benchmark, and that new benchmark got new indication this morning. The new labor numbers release, and I have that for you later in this video, plus that fifth stimulus check. But let's get some money. Boy. I have to really praise you. You are doing a, a superb job. If you've gotten any money from this channel, jump in the live chat right now and say what you got. If you've done this before, do it again, because every time you do it, inspires other people, inspires me, and shows other people to go get this money. If you're new to this channel, this is what I do. I get people money. And in fall of 2020, it was just like now. We were waiting for a second stimulus. It was the holidays. People needed money. And the second stimulus was not yet coming. So I stepped up. I got viewers a quarter million dollars of rent. I got viewers like Tyrone, family of four, Boston. $14,000 of rent that covered them all the way to almost March, paying all their bills for the holidays. Well, right now, you are taking my advice and you're killing it. Nisi, $22,000 from this channel. Art, three items, rent, utilities, and snap. John yesterday revealed he's getting $12,000 in snap. Viewers constantly, day after day, are revealing massive numbers, not $300, but $6,000, $7,000, $10,000, $12,000, and yes, $22,000. So get that pen and paper ready. We're going to do this right with you right now. We're going to go over rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and also homeowners utilities, which you can get from this channel. And it's absolutely wonderful. This is third stimulus. And when third stimulus was passed, I said, yeah, you'll get a $14 stimulus check. 
but you'll likely also get $14,000 from me. That's what's happening with viewers right now. So get that pen and paper ready. We're going to be going to rent utilities and also homeowners utilities. Each place has different eligibility. So if you reach out to one, don't worry. The next may say yes. The first one says no. I had one viewer on Insta on Facebook said she reached out to her city because she got a no. We'll reach out to the county and the other places. So get that pen and paper ready. And... If it must be a Crayola crown, you got to match my shirt. And it's not muddled blue. It's not murdered blue. It's not teal. It's not range of motions or a range of options either. <laughs> and here we go. You're going to reach out for this money to your city hall, your city house, your authority, your county hall, your county house, your authority, your state hall, your state house, your authority. The key words you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID, rent assistance because of COVID, or mortgage assistance or utility assistance because of COVID. You don't say words they don't know. <laughs> you don't say words they don't know, like stimulus or um, Mitch's mixtape drop date. Oh, my ears. They just hurt just saying that. <laughs> Can you imagine? Just, oh, ow, it's painful. Just, <laughs> I haven't heard it, and I, I'm already feeling pain. So don't say the words they don't know. They won't know what you're talking about. And there you go. Well, congratulations to Tim and Linda who got this big money. And viewers, I always say, I've been saying to viewers it's $5,000 approximately, four to six months of rent. But I've been I've been so wrong. Viewers are getting $10,000, $11,000, $12,000, $9,000. And they're getting a lot more for utilities. They're getting $3,000 for utilities, $5,000 for utilities from this channel. Jump in the live chat what you got as well if you got to utilities and also uh, rent. But let's turn to the next bottle of the money. And it's Snap. Yes, Snap is wonderful. Snap is money for food you get from Department of Agriculture. So reach out to Department of Agriculture. Money for your food. John got $12,000 for his family, at least. It was either twelve dollars or $14,000. It's just incredible. Lynn Glenn got it for herself, her son, and her mom. Gail got it as well. Art got this as well as among his other three, other two items he got. And how do you get this? You reach out to Department of Agriculture. How much does it pay? A fortune. A family of four in Hawaii gets now upwards of sixteen thousand dollars a year because of this why so much because of two executive orders one from biden one from trump that raised your benefits up 15 percent between now and december so go get it you're killing it you are killing it i want you to continue to kill it i'm killing it fifteen thousand dollars for snap for family four in hawaii five thousand dollars for rent um nisi twenty two thousand dollars the check in that bodysuit not really killing it, and you, the waves are going to kill you. <laughs> but let's turn the next, next, next pot of money, and we're only 12 minutes in this video, and we're going over the incredible money coming back from your states. The states have been ordered to return money back to you due to computer error. States had overpaid you benefits due to computer error and then asked to return the money back to you. So where are you going to direct deposit? How can you track it? <laughs> Call up your state and say, state, where's that money due to computer error, your computer error? And can you track it with a computer that actually works this time? And finally, the last pot of the money is wonderful. It's coming back from IRS. And if you got this as well, jump in the live chat and share that. So Cog got it. Margaret got it. Michael got it. What is it? It's the refund check of your unemployment benefits. Let's go over the details. First, let's say you had $9,000. And $5,000 was your total tax bill, of which $4,000 was your taxes on unemployment benefits. Congratulations. You're getting back $4,000. Where? Direct deposit, otherwise in the mail, whatever you had set up. When? This month. Can you track it? Yeah, about 70% um, of the time you can. Uh, go to irs.gov. Set up a username and password. Go in and do a transcript search. And we'll reveal stuff that you have never known about uh, and some stuff that you wish to never know about again. Mm -hmm. You wish you never seen it. It's like, oh, no. Uh, just, can I just forget that? <laughs> it'll have the refund. It'll have the check you paid, the tax return you filed. It will reveal, um, really, who is Mitch's, Mitch covering in his RMB debut? <laughs> it will reveal um, who will be Mitch's backup singers. <laughs> that will reveal the, the check you're getting back from IRS. Can we top that? We can as we go into the big second part of your fourth stimulus check update of 2021 starting right now. What a seven days it has been. Seven days ago, we got the confirmation, the official announcement that your money in recon was split away from the bipartisan, which is roads and bridges. How do we get to the spot? Let's recap. Three weeks ago, we had just recon. And Recon had your stimulus checks in it with roads and bridges. 
But Roads and Bridges was overwhelming the discussion. And the president was going across the country talking about Roads and Bridges, to which Americans' naysayers were saying, there's no money in there. It's just Roads and Bridges. Well, there always was money in there for you. It was just overwhelmed in the messagery with the Roads and Bridges. So three week, uh, last week, not yesterday, but last Wednesday, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, and the president had a final meeting, which culminated three weeks of meetings about the following subject, that the recon was too big and that they had to take some stuff out of recon. And last Wednesday, they agreed to take the bipartisan roads and bridges out of recon. Bipar the roads and bridges got their own spinoff TV series called Nash Bridges. No, that's the one of Don Johnson. No, it's called Bipartisan. And then away we go. Suddenly, the roads and bridges were in their own spinoff show, Bipartisan. Your stuff remained where it was, in the recon. It's still in the recon. It's been in the recon since day one. Your checks, the president's climate, the president's cares economy, the president's money for children, seniors, medicine, adults, and housing? Yep, you're going to see that revelation lay in this video. But suddenly, we are on a two-path process last Wednesday, with your money still in the recon and the bipartisan separated and distinctly away. This immediately helped us in two regards. First, it helped you with identity. Because as you had seen, the recon lacked identity over the weeks before because the naysayers were saying, it's just roads and bridges. <laughs> now the naysayers were very upset. And you've seen some of them some places where now they're furious because they cannot no longer say to you, the recon's only about roads and bridges. No, because the roads and bridges are no longer in the recon. Get lost, roads and bridges. They're in the own path now. And so now every Everyone sees what's in recon. It always was your stuff. Now the naysayers can no longer say there's nothing in there for you because everything that's in the recon is for you. To make it even clearer, the recon is only checks for the American people, whether it's checks as stimulus checks or checks for medicine or checks for seniors or checks for children or checks for adults. There is only checks in there. There is nothing about anything but checks in there. So it helped with the identity. Second, it helped with protection. And we didn't know what protection was when we first started hearing this a week ago. But ironically, Jalapal was giving us a spoiler. She was revealing to us there was a protection issue, trying to protect the recon part, the checks for you, away from the roads and bridges stuff. And a week ago, Jalapal said the president thanked her for protecting his progressive policies in there. Protecting it from what? We didn't know what that meant. And Brian Schatz, a Democrat from Hawaii, progressive, also said the president had thanked him because the progressive priority in uh, priorities in the recon are the president's priorities. We didn't understand what that meant. Now we understand what it meant because finally the recon was only progressiveness. In fact, the recon is only progressiveness and checks for people all over the place. It's no longer an issue of what? It's a question of how robust is it? Because it's getting very robust. And is it getting even more robust? That in a second. But suddenly, the recon, which has your stimulus checks, the president's climate, the president's children, the president's medicine, the president's thing for seniors, is suddenly getting more protection because it's away from the bipartisan. Finally, it got the best type of support you could possibly get. <laughs> A trash talking by Mitch McConnell. Because when Mitch McConnell's trash talking, it you know you're winning. What did Mitch McConnell do? He told all the naysayers that recon is just money for socialism and money money for the progressives and money for people to stay home and checks for people who don't need checks. It's just a democratic wish list. Thank you, Mitch. <laughs> You had just clarified it to the American people that the recon is really not about roads and bridges. I really appreciate it. Uh, your tip in the mail is in the mail. <laughs> so there you go. How did we get to this wonderful spot? Well, we got this wonderful spot by Jalapal telling the president, uh, calling Chuck, call the vote Chuck. Now, Jalapal wrote Chuck a letter about two weeks ago, but the letter was co-signed by 10 House Democrats who were among the 100-plus House Democrats who had written the president a letter saying, we're going to be putting monthly stimulus checks in the four stimulus recon. Well, can we top that? We can. As seven House Democrats had written the president a letter saying, Mr. President, when we write four stimulus recon, we'll be writing multiple stimulus checks in the four stimulus package. Well, for the first time, you're seeing something a little bit more clear on Mornings in L.A. Who are these people on this House subcommittee? They're the people who are writing the recon for the four stimulus. Remember, the 
GOP doesn't want any recon. The, G, the recon is only Democratic. And so they are writing, they represent multiple stimulus checks into the Democratic recon, fourth recon. What did they do before? What are their prior uh, job duties? <laughs> they wrote the third stimulus recon check for you. They represent they're writing the fifth stimulus recon check for you next year. Oh my goodness. That's later in this video. Can we top that? Yes. They also wrote your first and second stimulus check. Wow. Can we top that? We can. With the president going overseas less than two weeks, about two weeks ago, to get an international agreement signed on the books about what else? Corporate taxes to pay for recon. <laughs> Suddenly you're seeing a reoccurring theme here. Do you see it yet? It's the word called recon. Remember that when you look at the two paths, there is path one recon paid for by corporate taxes and path two bipartisan paid for by staying away from corporate taxes. You tell Mitch McConnell you're telling you tell Mitch McConnell you're gonna to touch corporate taxes. He's he starts um he starts pulling his hair out, whatever hair is left. I, it's just, it, it's so, what did the president do? The president is paying recon by raising corporate taxes, but he was worried that if he raised corporate taxes, corporations may move overseas. So the president reached out to countries overseas that have lower corporate taxes. And those countries, and asked them to raise their minimum corporate tax rate. And those countries tentatively said yes. To which the president reached out to his staffers and said, staff? Uh, let's meet with those countries in December. Bring them Jill's favorite potpourri and have them sign on the dotted line, make it official. <laughs> to which the staff said, Mr. President, you can bring them potpourri in June. Everyone loves June potpourri. Oh, okay. And with that, with that, the president went overseas two weeks ago and got those countries to sign on the dotted line, which anchors for stimulus recon to the edge of the finish line. Because now it's easier to pass for stimulus recon because corporate taxes internationally are covered by this international agreement. And no longer do you need those provisions about international taxes in the recon, making it easier for Democrats to pass the recon, which is supported by paying for with corporate taxes. Wow, now that was smart and also brilliant. Can we top that? Yes. In the third part of this video, you're going to see the most important, shocking revelation you've seen throughout this video, which is not only that how they call the vote is more important than when they call the vote, but you're also going to see that not only have they not been dragging their feet, but they have been plotting this out devilishly, brilliantly, over the last few weeks, keeping it on the low. You're going to see from me that when you line up these dates, there has been a planning. I don't want to spoil the second part of this video. There has been a planning that shows that the Democrats had something set from day one, and they didn't reveal their cards on this recording, I'm going to reveal their cards, and it's all wonderful news for you. But first, here's a here also coming up. This, but first, here's a little bit about the community page. If you need help with rent, utilities, mortgage, or internet, or SNAP, reach out to the volunteers. They are just as wonderful as this. So, if you've seen all these people in the video get, revealing the monies they got, and you haven't got any money, and you try to get and can't find it, don't worry. Reach out to the volunteers. How do you find them? Open the description. Down in the description, you'll see an emoji of a house. Click on that house emoji and I'll send you to the community page. It's news.la.com forward slash community. On the community page, you'll see the volunteers separate from Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Reach out to them and they'll help you get that money. And I'll be back with you in 60 seconds from now with big exciting details. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily.
And then afternoons LA late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Life. In the second part of this video, we go over the exciting details of a fourth stimulus, the most important part of this video, as we go over how the voting process is more important than when the voting process is. And then we cut to fist stimulus with raising up your benefits a lifetime. It's a big recording. So subscribe, about 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record in one year. I want you to hit that subscribe button and jump in the live chat, hit that subscribe button right now. Also, like the video. Every like helps in the algorithm rankings. It also delivers a new pinata. And consider becoming a member. The link's at the top of the chat in the pinned comment. Let's go right into fifth stimulus quickly before we get to that big shocker for fourth stimulus. Oh boy, it's exciting news. So fifth stimulus will involve first another stimulus check. Those House Democrats, which we talked about early in this video, in that subcommittee, who wrote your third stimulus recon check, claim they're writing your fourth stimulus recon check right now. Well, they will be doing a fifth stimulus recon check writing in September. That check will be for 2022. Great news. The vote on that would be around November-ish. Second, the president has dedicated $1 billion to the Social Security Administration to ensure your checks in the future go out on time. This is for stimulus, fifth stimulus, and also any benefits checks. And also, for a lot of viewers who are jumping in the live chat uh, yesterday and say they are missing their third second or first stimulus check, you must do the two things. One, file a tax return, and two, on that tax return, request the missing check. If you haven't done that, you need to do that or do an amended return. Reach out to tax preparer for that advice. And finally, the big news, fifth stimulus. The fifth stimulus you have learned involves a new benchmark. That benchmark is inflation. Inflation's going up. And that inflation rate is hit its highest spot in December. You've learned from this channel and your j Powell chairman of the Federal Reserve announcing last week. So how is this game played out today? The new labor numbers were released this morning. New jobless claims. And what were the numbers? New jobless claims numbers dropped. Good. Not a big significant drop that it would anywhere impair the forced stimulus push. But when you look at the continuing unemployment claims, which are people who were unemployed two weeks ago and are still unemployed, that number was really high. So that gives support to pass out to pass for stimulus. Also, we saw in the last 24 hours, lumber numbers drop the lowest amount in one month in ever time in, in recorded history, dropped 40%. That spurred home sales up, which is also spurring inflationary concerns. And that is why. Jay Powell's comments are wonderful. So let's go over how this calculates for your fifth stimulus starting right now. Under this SSI and SSDI reform, which includes your VA reform, they'll raise your benefits up one big time, then apply that inflationary benchmark, remove the asset limit, and remove the income exclusion, and remove the marriage penalty. Let's go over how this calculates starting right now. First, they'll raise your benefits up one big time. You got that. You understand that. That's if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, survivor benefits, SSA, or multiple benefits. Next, they'll apply the benchmark. And you understand how they do a benchmark. They apply it, they apply it for December for next year's benefits. You understand the new benchmark will be inflation. You understand that inflation is going up. You understand that inflation is going to reach its apex, its highest spot in December. And you understand it's going to correlate when they apply your benchmark of uh, benefits, as confirmed from Jay Powell, that the highest point will be around December. So the only thing that remains is how high, and of course, when are they going to uh, are they going to pass it? So how high? Let's go over the details. Wall Street analysts are still looking at about ten percent up from four percent right now. Let's use that number. If it was ten percent, then your benefits would step up ten percent. Not just next year, a lifetime. Because once your benefits step up, they never step down. So if the inflation rate the year after that is 1%, your benefits will be at plus 10, plus 1%. Wow, now that's wonderful news. Can we top that? We can. As they're removing the asset cap, dating back to a 1980s law that says you can't have more than $3,000 on hand. Now you'll be able to have some stimulus checks in your hand and maybe a Crayola crown. They're going to remove the income cap, dating back to a 1960s law that says you can't work and stay on benefits. And finally, the marriage penalty is going to go away. Love is going to win, and you'll be able to marry your longtime love inches and no longer fear the marriage penalty. 
And there you go. That's the stimulus. But if you're in the live chat and you see people posting the money that they got for rent, utilities, and if you haven't posted yours as well, snap, post it right now. And you wonder how they're getting this. And you notice that they have purple hawk emojis next to their name. What's going on? They're members. As soon as third stimulus was passed, I said, I don't want you tracking a check. I want you cashing a check. I don't want you to asking me what day in February the third stimulus check is coming for $1,400. I want you asking me how can I get $14,000 in February. And now, whether it's Nisi for $22,000 or John for $12,000 yesterday, or viewers every single hour saying $9,000, $8,000, $10,000, what are they doing? They're becoming members. And as members daily, I deliver to you a breakdown of all this big money you can get under third stimulus. It's very easy. It's all application-based. It was put for there for you by the federal government. It's for you to go get. They want you to have it. So go get it. Consider becoming a member. The link's at the top of the chat and the pinned comment. Which brings us to our final big finale of your fourth stimulus check update of 2021 in probably the biggest shocking revelation you have ever seen, certainly in recent days. And I think it will be certainly the biggest shocking revelation you're going to see in this video. So what's going on? Do you notice that in the series of quotes that we've had from the Democrats, they refer to 10 days ago, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, 10 days ago, if you don't notice, there is a consistent timeline at issue. What's going on? What's going on is it's important to note the first thing. How they vote on your fourth stimulus is more important than when they vote on your fourth stimulus. One of the things I want to explain clearly right to you right now is if you're a person who is adamant about having them call the vote right at the time of this video, right now, call the vote. Guess what? If they call the vote right today, and they don't have it set up correctly, it won't pass, and they can't call the vote again. It's dead, it's done, it's all gone. There's no money for you. You can't rush and call the vote the wrong way because if it doesn't pass, it's done, gone, simple as that. So it's not when they call the vote, it's how they call the vote. And how they call the vote, we now know there's three issues at hand. Number one, the recon can't be called second. Because if it's called second, it won't pass. It can be called first or it can be called concurrently at the same time as the bipartisan. But here is where it's getting very fascinating. And what my revelation for you is the following is this. We are now seeing indications that now, no, let me back it up. Initially, the recon had roads and bridges in there and a president appearing across the country with a backdrop of roads and bridges uh, pictures and talking about roads and bridges and talking about raising corporate taxes for roads and bridges. Then he took out the roads and bridges completely. So now that the roads and bridges are out, the recon is easier to pass for the Democrats, but it's still being paid by, for, by, for, by, paid for by corporate taxes. And suddenly it has everything in there for you that has nothing to do with roads and bridges. And suddenly has a lot of progressive items for you that have nothing to do with infrastructure. And guess what those progressives are doing? They're actually adding to the progressive recon now. It's actually growing in the last week since they removed the roads and bridges. Because the roads and bridges took up so much and that the roads and bridges are out now out. In fact, Representative Elon Omar confirms this says we have, progressives and Democrats, have a commitment that regardless of what happens with a bipartisan, we have re recon that will go as far as we progressives wanted to go far for. This basically means the progressives will put whatever they want to put in the recon because it's all progressive, it has nothing to do with roads and bridges, and because they protected it for the present and their, and their payback is that they can pile in whatever they want to pile in. If it's not even that clear to you yet, let's read another quote. Representative Richie Torres, now that the roads and bridges are out, he is ready and excited for his inclusion of affordable housing. Housing stimulus in the recon? Where did this come from? Now that roads and bridges are out, progressives are piling in the recon stimulus items that are all progressive. I will refuse to take any bill that fails to pass with the recon, says Torres. And if it makes any more clear to you, the Progressive Caucus has been repeatedly talking to the White House officials daily that the 
recon has to go as big as it needs to go. Whoa. That's the first part of the revelation. The second part of the revelation is that the recon will always be called for a vote first. So the wonderful news is everyone has your back. The way a bill is called for a vote, what a bill is called for a vote, which bill is called for a vote, is determined by only two people in the United States Congress. Their names, the chairman, the, the, the majority leader of the Senate, and the Speaker of the House. Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi are the only two people who can determine what is called for a vote and when it's called for a vote and how it's called for a vote. Well, the great news is that Chuck Schumer is going to call a vote for your recon first, or concurrently with a bipartisan, and Nancy Pelosi is going to do exactly the same. Nancy Pelosi made it even emphatically clear when she said, there ain't going to be no bipartisan unless we have a recon. And she goes on to say, as I said, there won't be a an bipartisan unless we have a recon, plain and simple. In fact, I use the word ain't. There ain't going to be a bipartisan unless we have a recon. And then comes the big surprise. The big finale to this video. Was this a big Democratic setup from day one to get you massive stimulus by calling it something other than what it was going to ever be? Do you notice now that suddenly recon is all stimulus, not roads and bridges? And the Democrats were so easy to get roads and bridges out of there so that the recon is easier to pass? Because when the recon is smaller without roads and bridges in there, they don't need, they can pass it easier. They don't need roads and bridges to pass all their progressive stimulus for you. And do you notice how they have been plotting for three weeks to take roads and bridges out of the recon to pass the stimulus for you? And do you notice how Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer were meeting for the president for three weeks about this before they made the decision last Wednesday? And do you notice this quote from Jalapal that they were asked about this 10 days ago? And this quote is not from today. This quote was from this Monday. So this was um, now 14 days ago. Listen to this quote. We Democrats and progressives have an agenda to accomplish, and our agenda is the recon. We did a poll, poll of our members 10 days ago. That's 10 days ago before this last Monday. And the overwhelming majority of our progressive Democrat caucus said they're not going to vote for the bipartisan if it's impaired without the recon going first. If it's not any clearer, let me read you an op-ed that is released this morning with the title, Republicans shouldn't pass the bipartisan. This is what the op-ed says. The higher and more expensive the recon was, the harder it was for the recon to pass. But uh, by allowing the Democrats to cleave out some of the items out of the, bi out of, uh, the recon and putting them in the bipartisan, now it's easier to pass the recon. In other words, the bipartisan deal has made it easier to pass the recon, which is exactly what the, Demo what the Republicans didn't want to have. Republicans never wanted you to have a recon, and they didn't want you to pass a recon at all. But now, by the, by the president, Schumer, Pelosi, Jalapal, and the progressives agreeing or plotting out to take roads and bridges out and giving it to the GOP, saying, here, take roads and bridges. You can have it. Now they made it easier for their own caucus to pass the recon. And suddenly, recon can go first, and there is no priority to protect the roads and bridges. And the pay-fors for the recon is the same pay-fors, corporate taxes, that was going to be used when roads and bridges was the story. Now, your relief for you is paid for by corporate taxes. They have nothing to gain, the GOP, by having allowed to carve out the bipartisan uh, roads and bridges because now they've given an easier way to the Democrats to pass their recon. The GOP was potentially set up by Nancy, Chuck, and the president by saying, here, you can have your roads and bridges. Thank you. You just made it easier for me to pass my recon. And now any GOP member who sort of wakes up, and they'll certainly see this op-ed, will realize the bipartisan was a setup to say, hey, we'll make it easier to pass our recon. Take the roads and bridges. We don't need it. It'll go over there. And if it doesn't pass, it's your fault. We're going to do our go recon. And guess what? 
the Democrats are adding into that recon, adding to that recon, adding to that forced stimulus. And if there's a reason why the naysayers over three weeks were saying, it's not in there, it's only about roads and bridges. There's a reason why the naysayers were able to say that. Because the president wanted you to think it was recon was only about roads and bridges. It, it sounds familiar to you. We've seen this twice before on this channel. In fall of 2020, when this continuing resolution, which is a budget bill to pay for the government, was passed, there was money in there for foreign countries. What was foreign countries' money in there? This is common practice, where legislators slide things into something and call it something else. And you may call it pork or whatever you want to call it, but they put a title on it and you think it's about the title, but there's other stuff in there. When we looked at the HEROES Act in 2020 summer, we heard about all these items for us, like hazard pay and stimulus checks and things like that. But guess what was also in hazard pay? You saw the 100,000 videos I did at the time. There was also money in there for the Department of Copyrights for salary raises, and the Department of Treasury for salary raises, and new bridges for San Francisco. So there was a lot of stuff in there that had nothing to do with COVID relief in 2020. This is a common tactic. And there you go. So it's important to understand that how they call the vote is more important than the day they call the vote. If they call the vote at the very moment that you say, can you call the vote today, and they don't set it up right, and it doesn't pass, everything's dead. Your recon is over, goodbye. So it has to be called for a vote the right way. And with that, this is far from over the story. You see how this is extended broadcast. There's a lot happening and there's a lot of twists and turns. And suddenly you see no one was dragging their feet. They were plotting this out and they were doing this in a way that they can get the money to you and keeping it very quiet by manifesting it as roads and bridges until they finally took out the roads and bridges. And there you go. And with that, I hope to see you next on Morning's Crypto, which is about 10 minutes after this video ends. So subscribe, a 400,000 subscribers of YouTube record in one year. I want you part of this channel. Also like this video and consider becoming a member. Also, I'm back with you at 11 a.m. with Noontime Ally. That is gonna be a big show across the board. Today's videos may run a little bit longer because there's so much breaking news and I'll be with you all weekend long. Make sure you subscribe, like this video and stay with Ally for more.